Welcome to Open Campus Creative Writing. This is Module 4. We are in Week 7 and 8. And actually, our marking period, because I'm not splitting up the modules, our marking period will end at the end of Module 8. And so that's something to be aware of if you're trying to get your grade up or you're trying to maintain a certain grade just to be aware of it. I like my funky glasses. I need them because my eyes are uh, weak and tired this morning. Therefore, I need to be able to see what I am doing. Uh, but anyways, we continue our jaunt into poetry, and this is still free verse poetry, although we're going to play into some formal poetry in the upcoming weeks. But we're still in free verse, and we are going to be looking at free verse poetry, and we're also going to be practicing reading poetry, because traditionally, poetry was not a written form. It was oral tradition, and the best poetry is meant to be read out loud, and I would do you a disservice if I wouldn't ask you to read some of your poetry out loud, and this is a judgment-free zone here, but we want to hear you reading your poems out loud in whatever setting you want to read them in, and we're going to share them here as a class, but it does need to be the video of you reading, and some people I know are apt to, like, getting Alexa to read it for them. No, I'm looking for you to read the poem because your inflection and how you deliver it matters. Let's take a look at what's happening over the next two weeks here. So if you jump over to the course, you'll see here we are at, this is module four, like I said, week seven and eight, and uh, it wraps up March 17th, and that, of course, wraps up this marking period for us. And uh, you'll see that here we are in our first lesson, we're still looking at like poetic qualities that don't necessarily make a form poet poem, but are important to it. Actually, it looks like I lied. We do get into form poems. I may have a reverse. We're getting to free verse. I don't know. We'll have to look at it. Sorry about that. But the rhythm and music of poetry we're looking at, and we are looking at four types of form poems here. And maybe this is the part that actually starts our form poetry unit. I don't know. We'll take a look at it uh, a little bit later on. But the big thing in that you want to be thinking about is by the beginning of next week, you want to be ready to read a poem that you created out loud. And there's some information you're going to need to include in that. And you'll see that I have the dates for that. You're also going to respond. And no critique this time. We're just going to kind of edify each other and talk about what we liked about the reading or what we liked about the poem. But big thing in is here, before you read, please state what poem you're reading, make some brief comments about the poem, why you wrote it, what you were trying to accomplish, etc. And, oh, please give your first and last name. I really should add that there, but I kind of thought that was a no-brainer. And, and then you're going to post it. If your video is too large, you'll have to upload it to YouTube and then share the link. But there are a lot of ways to do that. And if you have any questions, whatever you do, don't wait to the last minute to do this. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. It's actually open now, so if you just get inspired this week to record the video and upload it, you could do that. It's a little bit less work for you next week. So again, two lessons this week that you want to be in charge of. By Tuesday, you'll need to have Lesson 1, Rhythm and Music and Poetry. By Saturday, four types of form poems that we're going to be working with, and it will be... A fun, fun time. I love looking at form poetry. It's challenging, but yet creative, and um, so forth. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions at all, make sure you shoot me an email, scott.hertzsocketpenmatter.net. Message me through the Moodle, the Moodle app, or you can contact me through Remind, which I send out reminders for this. I believe that's about it, though. Take care, and have a fantastic day.